stop recording. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a comparison of the 2010 Simon Carabiner and the 2014. So, um, the 2010 one is from vat19.com, and it's very, very small. It, it fits in the palm of my hand, and I'm, uh, 11, so. And just the keychain hangs out. Let me describe it. So, it's a, uh, circle with a small button, and then four colored buttons around it. And then the 2014 one is thicker. The clip is bigger, and the buttons are bigger. But, there's one thing that I like about the 2014 one that the 2010 one doesn't have. So, let's just do a review of each one, and then I will go into the pros and cons of each one. So, the 2010 one, the battery door is one of the ones with the springs on it. It takes three button cell batteries. It has a little, like, raised line around the edge, around the outside. And you press the button in the middle. But for some reason, green is on the the direct left. It's on your west if you hold the keychain facing away from you. And uh, yeah, it's kind of and red is on your east. Red is east, which is kind of odd. I've never seen a Simon like that. Then you just press the middle button. The sound is a little quiet, but the lights are bright. The buttons are kind of small. It goes up to 32. Okay, and so that was just that one. Take three button cells, and VAT19 used to sell it. Now for the 2014 one, it's bigger. The battery door is a, it uh, doesn't have the springs on it, so you can play without the battery door, even though it sucks to play without. It does not have that line on the outside. However, it is bigger, clunkier, but the buttons are in the, like the uh, green is in the north, north, uh, West. And you press the button. See, then this one's louder. This one's a lot more common to find, but, well, now it is. It, the 2010 one used to be a lot more common when it was just the 2010 one that was up. However, these ones break a little easy. I had one for, that lasted two years, and then it finally broke. And then I just got this one yesterday. Now, let's go into the pros and cons of each one. If you want a... a this mini Simon 2010 hooks onto the headrest in a car, and you can just play it right next to you like this. And it does not like if you hit a turn, it it just doesn't hurt when it, if it hits you. However, with this one, ow! This one has a better speaker, but the battery door is harder. Not to get on, but yeah, the clip is annoyingly large on this one. Like you can. It, it on more things but it's less portable it's, um, so in the long run I'd recommend both but if you just want one so there are goods to both if you want a very portable Simon game that you can just like pull out and play on a very long annoying road trip I'd go with the 2010 but if you want a game that you can like really hear like if you're blind like, um, if you want a bigger, if you want a, and you don't just, and you're not going to take this one on, like, you'll take it on a trip, but, like, you'll also play it at home, then I'd recommend the 2014. And, of course, you can also get both. But the, uh, the funny thing is the older one is smaller than the bay, than the, uh, the older one is smaller than the actual circle of the, uh, newer one. So, yeah, you can hook the 2010 one onto the 2014 one that but you can't hook the 2014 one on 2010 well, technically can, but whatever so that was simon carabiner 2010 versus simon carabiner 2014